Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to format our USB. So we're just going to go into my computer. Um, we're going to right click and we're going to hit format. Okay, just make sure that it's formatted to FAT32. Um, and we want quick format and we press OK. So now we're going to download the update file that was emailed to you. Um, I'm just going to open it in incognito just so I can see exactly what you would be seeing. Um, so here we've got download. You don't need to be uh, a member of Dropbox. You don't have to sign up. Just need to hit download. Okay, don't worry about that. So it's now asking me where do I want Put the file once it's updated so it's going to go straight into my downloads folder um, i'm just going to close that and we're just going to wait for the update to finish downloading Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to open our downloads. Now you'll notice that the folder um, that's there, it will be called Phone Link Update 2. But we don't want to copy this folder onto the USB. We want to co only copy kupdate.zip. So I'm going to open up that folder. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it across to the USB. So what Dropbox does, it automatically zips the file. So you want to unzip kupdate.zip from the folder named phone link update 2. It is a little confusing, but as long as once it's copied onto the USB, the only file you have on there is kupdate.zip, you should be fine. Just keep in mind, don't rename the file. Uh, sometimes if you've downloaded it multiple times, it may uh, put a one next to it. We don't want that. Any alterations to the name whatsoever, the head unit will not recognize the update. It has to be kupdate.zip. That's it. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we've got our update file. We are going to pop the USB into the head unit. You should see a message appear. Do you want to update? Press OK. So the video is going to be sped up for the update. It should take approximately 10 minutes from start to finish to update. So just make sure you don't remove the USB from the unit whilst it's running. So once it's finished the update, it'll then go on to, you'll see Polaris logo, then you'll see the Android logo. The Android logo does stay up for a little bit longer than usual. Don't panic, just let it do its thing um, and it should be all good. So once the update's done, uh, you'll see it'll just go back to normal you'll just see your home screen um, once you see this you can just take out the usb so now you'll see that speed play will now be changed to phone link um, so what i need you to do is you need to connect to wi-fi so just make sure the unit has some form of internet connectivity it can be your actual Wi-Fi if you're close enough or a hotspot. 
um, once connected to internet, go into phone link. Uh, this one has already been update uh, activated. So, but what you'll see on the screen is just like a little loading symbol saying activating. Um, and then once it's activated, you'll see this screen. So you will also notice if we go back into phone link, uh, there is a settings icon. Now it's limited in settings. Obviously we're gonna to switch to right-hand drive, but you'll see that there's no mic gain anymore. I'm actually gonna show you where you can um, change the mic gain setting. So we're gonna go home, we're gonna go settings, we're gonna go car settings. We're going to go to factory settings. We're going to type in one, two, six and press OK. And then we're going to go to volume. OK, ignore the BT mic gain. It's not this setting. I want you to go into audio gain. And in audio gain, you'll actually see a separate mic setting. So you can have a play around, see which setting you like. Uh, usually six, seven, eight is pretty good. You can try nine or 10, but you may get a bit extra background noise. Uh, once you've set it, you just press exit and then that's it. We're just gonna hook up the phone. Um, so I'm just gonna connect my iPhone. I'm gonna search for my phone. Okay, so it's found it. Let me just stop the search, select it, link it up. Obviously, my phone is now asking for a password, which is double zero double zero. Okay, you can see that Bluetooth has connected, and this is going to activate CarPlay. Um, and then on my phone, it's showing use CarPlay. So just make sure you just keep watching your phone for that message as well. Um, and then the first time it may take a little bit longer than normal, but we've activated. We're, we're connected now. So if you have any issues um, or you don't understand something, please feel free to reach out and contact us. There are multiple ways to get in touch. You can call us on 1300 555 514. You can email us at sales at polarisgps.com.au or you can go onto our website, which is polarisgps.com.au and there's a little text us icon that you'll see in the corner of your screen that will message us, us directly.